everyone welcome back to another video on my channel today i'm going to be doing something that i saw on pinterest it definitely it definitely wasn't real um that probably makes no sense but i don't know if you noticed that there's ai nail designs everywhere now which is really annoying because clients expectations are just through the roof and obviously it's impossible to recreate these nails but um i did want to recreate these ones in specific they're not going to look anything like the inspo picture if i can find the picture again because annoyingly i don't think i saved it or screenshotted it which definitely should i think about it now but i don't think i did if i did i will pop a photo of the screenshot on on the screen now so you can see what i'm on about um it's very clearly not real <laughs> but i just thought it'd be nice to do it anyway and just see how it works out sort of thing so for the background color i'm using bubblegum daiquiris from uh i don't know where the s sound came from then when i said that but i'm using bubblegum daiquiri from jabbox uk uh like subscription boxes the monthly ones the code that i have for that website is in my description box in my yeah i thought i said that the complete wrong name i just please ignore me i can clearly not speak <laughs> I'm doing three nails. Two of them are going to have, no, sorry, one of them is going to have the design on because I've got a feeling it's going to take a little while and I don't want it to be a really long video. And two of them are just going to be plain blue with a bit of sparkle. So I'm doing bubblegum daiquiri as the base for them all. And then I'm going to use a, a blue sky colour. And it is CH05 I'm going to use. It's a really nice fine print blue. And I'm going to just do one coat of bubblegum daiquiri and one coat of this fine blue over the top. Um for my base this glittery blue is just beautiful it's really subtle doesn't change the color of the blue underneath too much it's nice and pale just gives it a nice very oh well, i don't think it's that subtle but i just mean like really really fine shimmer I'll show you up close you can see better it's just really pretty so i've done the glitter on two nails but not on the third because the third is going to be one with the design on. i don't want the glitter in the background of that one I'm going to be using, I'm going to try and use all the Jabbox UK colours because I hate having to use the diamond glitters ones, Jab Perfection, and then explain to you not to buy from them and stuff. I don't want to keep drawing attention to that brand. And every time I don't mention what colours I'm using when they're from that brand, I always get comments saying, which colours have you used? So either way, I have to always do the whole ring roll of it and I just don't want to anymore. So I'm going to use Sanctuary, which is this deep green from the Jabbox UK. And I'm also going to use just spot it out the corner of my eye oh this is one that i don't actually know what it's called i'm not good at reading like other people's handwriting at all to be honest with you i can barely just about read my own which is obviously not great but i'm going to use a couple of greens because this is going to be for the grass of this design i don't need loads but i've accidentally put loads on well it wasn't accidental but i have put loads on my palette as usual um but I'm also going to just mix the two together as well to create another green because I only have these two greens from this brand. I've got really, I've got like teal, slightly teal greens. I've got neon greens and stuff, but these are the only two, this type of green that I've got. So I'm going to mix them together and see what they create. And if that gives us another good shade, then that is fab. If not, it's fine. We can just use the two shades. That is one thing I've never, like, it's never been my forte is mixing colours together. <laughs> Colour theory is not a thing in my head at all. Definitely too much of the darker colour in this, but it is still a different colour. I think I'm just going to add a little bit more of the lighter one. Didn't really mean that much, but never mind. It's in there now also a lot of it but it's fine and we're going to use this as the grass so we're just going to apply it really randomly in stripes all different lengths and stuff and that'll be perfect actually so that's three colors now we've got as you can see which is fab they're all, all very grass green colors so that's perfect so on this nail i'm going to get my tall striper just because i find majority of things easier when using a long striper obviously every uh brush has its purpose like how you're supposed to use it but whatever works best for you is absolutely fine it really doesn't matter it's 
so I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going in with the, the lighter one first, and I'm just going to put loads of lines on here, very random and sporadic, some shorter or longer than others, very random, I'm not putting too much effort into it, just want it to be random, random is like the main, the main focus here really filling that out Some longer ones down there like so and then once I've done that I'm going to pop that into the lamp just some longer ones in the middle I'm gonna pop that in the lamp I'm just going to put it in for 30 seconds y'all and then once that is back out I'm going to do the exact same thing again with the next color up so this would be the middle green that we created I'm just going to go in between and on top, just all over the place with that. I'm going to do it from the bottom because I find it much easier. We just really want some dimension of different shades of green. That's the main outcome we're looking for. And then again, I'm going to pop that back into the lamp for a just a half cure because even though the colours are touching each other, there's not a lot of colour on there, so they'll cure fine every time I put it in the lamp. And then last but not least, we're going in with the darkest colour. Depending on how much I put this, how much of this I put on, will depend on whether I do a fourth layer of just the lighter colour to brighten it up again. But I'm hoping I don't go overboard with this. I won't have to do that. Definitely at this point, fill in any gaps that you've got. I'm going to do some thicker lines as well to really see that dimension of different shades. in the bottom a bit just to get that a bit deeper in colour but not take it all the way up just for a bit of dimension and then once I'm happy with how that's turned out which I am this is what it looks like my grass done i'm going to pop it in the lamp for a full cure now whilst that was in the lamp just finished off curing i've just popped all the colors that i'm going to need on my palette so we've got white i'm using pure white from the javox uk i've mixed together two yellows a neon yellow that doesn't have a label on it and margarita san jose 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 i don't know um and then clicks and then the red is you can't sit with us so I've got, I think that's all the colours that I need off the top of my head. We're going to do a little ladybird um, and a bumblebee. So, yeah, I think I think that's it. Let's get straight into it. So, first things first, I'm going to do the ladybird. And I'm going to use a bigger dotting tool than that. That is for sure. Here we'll go with that one. So, I'm going to use a dotting tool to create my the body of the ladybird and we're just going to plonk him here i want it to overlap the grass a little bit um but just pop him on the top the ones on the photo um off the top of my head were like really like i said it was heavily edited and very fake but they were really like over the top fake they looked literally 3d they weren't it wasn't like 3d nail art they were literally just 3d like printed <laughs> Um, so obviously mine will not look like that, but that's good because we don't want it to be fake. This is real. So that is the belly of my ladybird. And then I'm also going to do my bee. I don't actually know how this colour is going to turn out, but the yellow, the yellow, yellow, the really bright one was too bright. And then the other yellow was a bit too mustard. So I was hoping that mixing them together would just dull down that really bright yellow a little bit which it has so that's good it's not quite as much as I wanted it to but it's fine I'm just gonna have a really yellow bumblebee it's fine I'm just gonna pop him up here gosh he is very luminous just imagine this bumblebee as a normal colour he's a bit of a longer body That'll do 
it's not perfect, but we all love him anyway. <laughs> so I'm going to pop that into the lamp now and draw that. So now that is out of the lamp, I'm going to do the next step. So I'm going to do the black on both of them now. So the black on the ladybird. I'm going to do the front here. Now, I actually wouldn't usually do ladybirds the way that I'm going to do this one, but I am going to copy the style that is in the photo, um, just because that was my inspo photo, so it makes sense. But I wouldn't typically do ladybirds like this, and I actually did ladybirds um, last year for a client, which I didn't realise was actually that long ago. It's gone really quick. Uh, I think it was like last spring. Um, and they were really cute, actually. But I didn't do them this way. I did love how they turned out and I would do them that way again if I was doing a client but because this is a video where I'm using an inspo picture it makes sense to use the way that the inspo did it I suppose. <laughs> I'm just popping a line down the middle and then I'm just going to do little tiny antennas coming off front. like so very cute and i'm gonna do some little legs there actually wasn't any legs on no i'm not gonna do legs because there isn't any on the on the photo i just said that i'm gonna copy that so now i'm just gonna get my absolute smallest dot which is this one on the end of this pink dotting tool and i'm gonna just pop the dots on on the red just doing it very randomly like so and then I will cure that and do some white eyes on the black but for the B I'm going to use this brush again well first of all I'm going to pop a dot actually at the front because last time I did B's I forgot to put the eye on till last and it made it really difficult to fit it on and then I'm just going to create my lines this B really is not the colour that I wanted it to be <laughs> But it's fine. Looks like a fish somehow at the moment. Hopefully it's not going to stay that way. I want to get at least three lines. So that's the B. And then after that, I'm going to do some wings on him as well, but just we'll have to wait for those. So I'm now going to do some tiny, tiny, tiny with that. The other side of this, I'm going to use that dotting tool. I'm going to do some tiny little, what are they called? Actually, I'm going to use the tiny, tiny side, I think. I'm going to do some little flowers in the grass. Really, really small ones. The dog is back, if you're wondering what the background noise is. Just pottering about as usual. So we're just going to do three. One there, one up here and one down here. This is actually turning out very cute. Hoping I can find that photo again so you can see the inspo. Well, that's that anyway. So once that comes out, we'll pop the inner inner parts of the flower as well. Okay, we're back out the lamp again. I'm going to do the inner dots of the flowers in the yellow. I'm just going to use that same one that I mixed up for the bee. Because I mixed up way too much of it as usual. I'm just popping them in the center of the flowers like so and then for the other things we need some eyes on the ladybird so a tiny tiny bit of white on my small small daughter popping those there and then for the wings of the bee i'm going to do basically a love heart because i did these the other day for a client um 
I look really cute, so I'm going to copy that. There wasn't actually a bee on my inspiration picture. I've just added the bee because I thought it'd be a nice addition to the uh, design that we're doing. So I'm just getting off all the excess of my brush, but making sure it's got some white in it. And then we're just going to join these dots up in a heart shape. Make sure they're touching the top of the bee. Definitely the easiest way to do wings. It's very cute. I would prefer a black bee with yellow on, but I just couldn't be bothered to do white and then yellow on top of black. So we're doing yellow, <laughs> a yellow bee with black instead of the other way around. But he's very cute, so we'll let him off. I don't know if we should put a little bit of white in his eyes. I think he looks quite aggressive with the black. That'll do. Tones it down even just a smidge, that little tiny white dot. Um, but this is what they look like so far. Very, very pretty. So I'm going to pop that in the lamp now. I've just found out these um, cloud stickers. So I think I'm going to pop a cloud sticker at the top just to see if it goes. If it doesn't, I'll just take it off. It's no big deal. But I was thinking maybe this one up here. We'll see how that goes. I mean, it doesn't make sense because it just doesn't make sense for having clouds up here because that's not obviously that high in the sky but I'm going to do it anyway just because I never get around to using stickers really because my clients don't have them so I thought it'd be nice to um kind of incorporate these because I've been in my collection for goodness knows how long I don't want to go for those ones here or these up here I think I'm going to do those ones if they look rubbish we can take them off it's fine it's no big deal I'm not really a huge fan of stickers. They have to be really thin for me to like them. And a lot of the times they're not. But we'll see how we get on with this. Oh, I had some black on my, uh, my tweezers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick it up. Oh, I broke it. <laughs> I'm just going to pull it off. I'm going to cheat and just pull it off. There we go. Definitely should have checked on that first. But anyway, we're sticking this on. See how we get on. I'll clean it up in a, in a second. Mm, that would have looked really good if I'd have made sure that my tweezers hadn't got any polish on. Just ruined it. Very annoyed at myself. Yeah, I'm going to take this off and put the other one on just because I've ruined this now because I didn't clean my tweezers and I've broken it so I can't just move it. So I'm going to get rid of that one. I'm going to clean the nail now because I've just messed that up as well. Clean my tweezers. <laughs> we'll get there. And then go in with the next sticker. Just cleaning my clean up brush as well because having a, a clean up brush with black polish in it is really not very helpful. So, luckily, we've got some backup stickers, it's fine. There's quite a few on here. Um, it'll probably be better with the small one anyway, to be fair. That one might have been a little bit overkill. Put it a bit higher up this time because it's smaller. Please don't ask me where these stickers are by the, are from, by the way. Like I have literally no idea. They've probably been in my collection for about four years. <laughs> I really don't use stickers and stuff. That looks really cute. I'm actually quite happy with that. It's just filled a little gap, I think. So let's talk about this. I don't know whether to add something to these two nails, like a little white flower like these ones, or just leave them plain. Let's pop this in the middle and see how I feel. Um, I feel like I'm going to leave them plain because I'm really good at taking it too far and I'm regretting it. So I'm just going to top coat them all now and then I'll show you what they look like. So this is the finished look. They're so cute. I absolutely love it. Um, it was worth all of the layers and everything. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to pause to tell the dog to stop moaning at me. She wants to go to bed. It is only half past ten. Uh, <laughs> I never go to bed this early, so I don't know why she starts this. I'm really annoyed that I managed to get so many air bubbles in my top coat, but I didn't realise until right this second, so that's very annoying, but never mind. 
Um, but yeah, this is how they turned out. Let me know what you think. I absolutely love the grass effect. I think that's really effective. And you could do that for so many different backgrounds. So it doesn't have to be flowers, ladybirds or bumblebees. But that bumblebee's cute as well. He looks a bit luminous, but other than that, <laughs> very cute. I need a darker yellow from the Jabbox UK. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll be back soon with another one. Bye.